it's Jenny from A Journey with Jenny and today I wanted to share with you um, three tips to overcoming emotional turmoil. So I think these past few days I've been um, experiencing some really intense emotions. I have three thoughts that I wanted to share with you in case you ever have to feel the same. So I think when we feel feelings of anger or pain or sorrow, our instincts are to push them away, to feel like they're wrong, and so we do whatever it is that we can do to avoid them. So maybe sometimes that means, you know, binge watching TV or it means eating that tub of ice cream or it means doing nothing but staying in and wallowing and so those obviously are not very healthy acts and they actually prevent you from healing which is number one feel your emotions accept your emotions Whatever your emotions are, you are entitled to them. So just allow them to be, feel them, acknowledge them. So the second step would be to choose to see them with love instead. So I'm learning this from Gabby Bernstein right now. So for example, you can say, I recognize that I am sad and in pain, but I choose to see love instead of this. And that has helped me release a little bit of my emotions. It's not forcing yourself to have to be optimistic, but you're choosing love each time you might feel anything but. And so the last step is to speak your truth. And I've been hearing this a lot, really, um, from all sorts of different sources. But I do. I hope that whatever you're feeling, you are entitled to those feelings. It is how you interact with other people that determine what you choose to do with those feelings. So if you're angry and you lash out at others, or if you're in pain and you choose to say hurtful words to others, while it's definitely okay for you to feel those feelings, I hope that you're able to take those feelings and learn how to communicate about them. I believe that you should be honest about how you're feeling, explain to others why you're feeling the way you're feeling, but also listen, also reflect, and also so just take the time to think about how your actions might impact others. And when you do that, I hope you always choose love. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.